Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cyber Sunday. You can see that the MPWF World Heavyweight Champion is troubled after what just went down tonight. Three out of four champions have lost their championship titles. Joey Eagle looks to be the only champion tonight to retain his title. This is he has the toughest challenge of the night, I would say, against Antonio Goldman. As up next is the main event of the first CPV in MPWF history. The heavyweight title, Antonio Goldman, takes on Joey Eagle. And listen to the respect this crowd is giving the challenger for the MPWF World Heavyweight Championship, Antonio Goldman. He's changed his attire. He's wearing white and gold. He is a shining light, the white savior. Antonio Goldman looks to dethrone Joey Eagle and become the heavyweight champion of the world. You heard it from his mouth on MPWF Nitro. Antonio Goldman said he is sick of Joey Eagle treating all the young superstars with no respect and and treating them badly. He said it's time that you know what? You show some respect to these guys and give them the opportunity they deserve to show their talents in the MPWF. Antonio Goldman is fighting for all those guys in the locker room tonight. And more importantly, he's fighting to become the heavyweight champion. Uh, the only two-time heavyweight champion in MPWF history. This will be his first championship belt he would win in the YouTube era of the MPWF. This is a massive night for this man Antonio Goldman. I can't I cannot wait to see how he does against Joey Eagle. His former mentor, Tyrone Fitzgerald, trained this guy well. Antonio Goldman is the past, present, and future of the MPWF. And here comes Antonio Goldman's opponent for the evening. The heavyweight champion of the world, Joey Eagle. He is a legend, a veteran in the MPWF. He began his career as a tag team with Tyrone Fitzgerald. They later joined the Creed where he won multiple tag team championships. The Internet Championship, the MPWF Championship. He has matured to become one of the best at what he does in the world in any core wrestling fed ever better than superstars in DWF superstars in ECW in ICCW URWL FSCW WEDF this guy is the best of them all Joey Eagle looking to make his mark in history of core wrestling the heavyweight champion of the world must defend his title in a situation where there is no disqualifications, Joey Eagle has to win this matchup by pinfall and submission to retain his championship. He cannot get himself counted out or disqualified like any of the other champions tonight. This is a tough situation for Joey Eagle, but if there is anybody who can handle the pressure and handle the situation, is that man right there, Joey Eagle. He is MPWF. You would think that there's so much running through these men's heads right now, but there's only one thing that's going through their mind, and that's that big ass piece of gold that that referee's holding in the middle of the ring, the heavyweight championship of the world. If you hold that title, you are known as the best ever, the best in the world in core wrestling today, and that's what these two men are fighting for, the opportunity to call themselves the best of the Nitro brand. And then Joe Eagle retaliates with a punch. And now Antonio Goldman hits with a punch. And now they're fighting back with another punch. And they're going back and forth, back and forth. Each man jockeying for position in this matchup. But it seems that Antonio Goldman has the upper hand. His strikes seeming to be more effective than Joe Eagle's. And now he misses with a clothesline and G uh, Joe Eagle escapes. And now Eagle with a knee taking down Antonio Goldman. Now to a carbon elbow tie up. Reversal by Goldman. And now Antonio Goldman having Joe Eagle set up in the power slam position. What is he setting up from for here? No, he puts him down instead. Oh, 
Retaliates with a vicious punch, but Equal fires back with a knee. And now Irish whip to the outside of the ring. This match could either be a technical wrestling specialty, or it could end up turning into a brawl by the end of it, before this one is all said and done. And what a beautiful double axe handle off the top rope by Antonio Goldman. And now he responds with a knee drop to the face. These guys could use weapons. They can use anything. They can fight anywhere in the arena. All they have to do is win this matchup by pin four or submission. That's the only way to win the MPWF Championship, sorry, the Heavyweight Championship of the World tonight at Cyrus Sunday. And now Joe Eagle. Back suplexing Antonio Goma on the outside of the ring. That's going to have nasty impact as you heard his back and his neck smack across the floor as he got back suplex and now Joe Eagle throwing Goldman face first into the barricade and now Goldman telling no sorry Eagle telling Goldman to suck it and Goldman has to let you know he can't worry about Joe Eagle taunting him he's got to think to himself I just gotta get back in the ring and win this matchup that's how focused these men are they're gonna not let mind games get to their heads they're gonna do everything in their power to just do to stick to their game plan and win the matchup and there's Goldman back to his game plan punch and smack the hell out of Joe Eagle and now he hits him again with another knee drop to the face and Goldman kicks him right in the gut again in the gut Irish whip this time and Eagle responds with a neck breaker beautiful reversal by Joe Eagle Joe Eagle heads up to the top rope this time we don't see this too often by Eagle but you will do anything it takes to retain your heavyweight championship and now he misses with a spear and there's Goldman going straight to that wrist lock. If he breaks down the wrist, Joe Eagle is incapable of using the pedigree, one of the most devastating moves in all of wrestling. If Eagle hits that, he most likely will be or will retain his championship. Sorry, he already is the MBWF heavyweight champion. And now, look at these clummy blows to the back. If he throws out the back of Goldman, Goldman won't be able to pick him up for the spine buster to set up for the people's elbow. And here we go for the count. One, two. Goldman gets a shoulder up. And now Joe Eagle, Irish whipping Goldman to the outside of the ring. And this crowd seems to be behind the king. And oh! Eagle throwing Goldman off. He lands face first on the apron. And now he's gone in a Carmen elbow tie up. And now. Oh, vertical suplex on the outside of the ring. Like I said, these guys are just really jockeying for position. They're really trying to see see how they feel wrestling each other, feel each other out in this matchups thus far. And oh, Goldman reversing though. Doesn't want his face to get smashed on the steel steps again. But ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back for more of this main event matchup.